Did you know that every year in East Nashville, there is a costume art festival dedicated to the tomato? And no, I am not making this up. They even have an elected king and queen tomato that leads a parade. Just wanted to prepare you that Nashville can be a little weird sometimes. Hey everyone, my name is Brenna. I'm a realtor with Simply Home in the Middle Tennessee area, and I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I post weekly content every Tuesday about Tennessee living, so go ahead and subscribe. Nashville is a wonderful city filled with people from all over the world. There's a reason why it's the 10th fastest growing city in the US. So what makes this city so attractive to others? Well, a big part of it is the job opportunity and growth. If you're looking for work, then Nashville may present you with the perfect job opportunity. Historically, Nashville's unemployment rate has stayed around 2% or lower. The average Nashville salary is $64,000 and the average monthly rent is $1,415. You will find plenty of jobs at your fingertips when you move to Nashville. You'll find opportunity for healthcare, tech, automobile production, manufacturing, entertainment, hospitality, and so many more jobs. With Vanderbilt University and Medical Center and Nissan being the largest employers, Nashville's job market was ranked number two in the hottest job market in the country. So if you're looking for work in Nashville, then chances are you'll find it pretty easily. Now let's talk about some of the cons to living in Nashville. My first one being the dreaded Nashville traffic. Rush hour is no joke in Nashville. So if you use the interstate to get to your destination between the hours of 7 to 9 a.m. and 4 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, then you'll most likely be stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. And road maintenance is a never ending task here in Tennessee. So you may find that road construction will also extend your commute. So my advice is to plan your commute ahead of time so you won't be late for work. So let's talk about something that is good about Nashville. Nashville's cost of living is still very reasonable when compared to other cities. For example, the cost of living in Los Angeles, California is 48.2% higher than Nashville, Tennessee, and a whole 20% higher in Chicago than in Nashville. As of August of this year, the current median home price for Nashville is $357,000. And the average rent for this year is $1,400, which is actually a 1% decrease from last year. Nashville residents make an average of $64,000, which is roughly $7,000 more than the national average. Plus, you do get to keep a little bit more because Nashville does not have a state income tax. And like I mentioned before, Nashville has a ton of job opportunities. So you'll have relatively high wages and low cost of living. My next con for living in Nashville is its higher sales tax. Tennessee is among the top five states for the highest sales tax. Tennessee's sales tax stays around 10%, which can seem like a lot to people who are not from Tennessee. Currently, Nashville's sales price is 9.25% and is set to increase to 9.75%. But keep in mind that this is somewhat counteracted with the no state income tax, which saves you an average of $2,000 a year. But it still hurts to pay that 10% sales tax at times. My next pro is Nashville's nightlife. You'll never have a dull moment while walking Broadway on a Friday night. You'll surely experience the bachelorette parties, hockey games, and the never-ending stream of live music that Nashville has to offer. I assure you that no matter who you are, Nashville has the right bar for you. Are you into magic? Then visit the House of Cards located just under the Johnny Cash Museum. This restaurant includes dinner and a magic show, but only for those who are 21 and up. For a more relaxed atmosphere, visit Rare Bird to enjoy some cocktails on a rooftop overlooking the city. There's a little bit of something for everybody in Nashville, so go out and explore some of Nashville's nightlife. My next con for living in Nashville, and probably one of the biggest headaches, is public transportation. You will most likely need a car if you live in Nashville, which isn't the worst thing ever, but if you're moving from a city that you're used to having a subway system or other forms of transportation, you will not find that here in Nashville. 
The only current form of public transportation in Nashville is buses, specifically the WeGo Public Transit, who services the downtown area and parts of the surrounding areas. The problem with only having buses for public transportation is that it's not the most reliable form of transportation, and it doesn't cover all of the city. So you'll most likely have to be stuck in the same traffic that everyone else is stuck in. My last pro is that you're going to be so close to many of Tennessee's natural wonders. One of them being the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, which is less than four hours away. But if you want to stay strictly inside of Nashville, you'll still find many outdoor activities to do. You can go boating or kayaking on Percy Priest Lake or explore Nashville's sprawling greenway system and parks. With Tennessee's gorgeous weather, you'll definitely want to be outside, so go out and explore some of Nashville's amazing outdoor adventures. Be sure to leave this video a like if you love exploring the great outdoors. With that final pro, that concludes my video on the pros and cons of living in Nashville. Be sure to download my free guide in the description down below. Leave a comment telling me what your favorite thing about Nashville is. And if you're relocating to this amazing city, then don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find all of my information in the description down below as well. And if you're looking for some things to do in Nashville, then watch my best things to do in Nashville video next. Thank you so much for watching. If you've stuck around to the end of this video, then make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.